Hello, this is Dwayne, and I am not a financial advisor, but I love sharing the insights that have helped me build wealth and are helping me expand it for generations to come. Well, I'm so excited about things that are going on in our wealth building practice. Well, I'm so excited to see your future be better than your past. Do me a favor today, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell so you'll be notified when I put this content up every single solitary day. In addition to that, you can like, leave me a comment. We really appreciate it. It helps us with the algorithm here on YouTube. You know, we are helping 30 million people around the world build and live a wealthy life. That's our goal. And I would love for you to be a part of that growing community. If you'd like to be a part of it, come on and see that link in the top comment for this video or in the description of this video and come on into my Patreon and get my private Discord. That's where the family is growing. We've got classes there for you to help you grow. Great content for covering the full aspect of living a wealthy life. I would love for you to come and take a look and see what we have to offer for you. You can find that information in the link for this video. Well, as I said, a lot going on in the markets on today. Let's get after it. Well, like I said, there's a whole lot going on, but man, it's been a positive day, even though uh, the information coming back from Wall Street is a little bit shaky in certain areas. Let's look at what took place on today. And the S&P 500 was up 0.75%. That, uh, that's good, it's up $33 and 11 cents. The Dow was up $382 or 1.09% and that was very very good the nasdaq was up 73 dollars and 91 cents or 0.5 percent the russell 2000 uh was down just a very very little bit down uh on today uh that number went down as we the day went along and oil is still climbing and i say this to you so that you understand it when we see oil climbing like that that is not positive for the economy. That is showing us the uh, ripple effect that inflation is having when we keep seeing crude oil going that high. All right, when we look to see what's happening here in the markets, oh, that's not what I want. We look to see what's happening in the markets. We see the decliners are outpacing advancers today, 52% to 45%. That wasn't what we would want to see. It was doing very, very good until the last hour and then decliners uh, took over, even though when we look at the heat map, it doesn't necessarily look that way on the heat map. When you look in these sectors, though, a little bit closer, you can see where we're seeing some red intermingled in, uh, um, in pretty much all areas. We're seeing red, the consumer staples, soft drinks area, which good dividends there, but they were all down just a little bit on uh, today. We're seeing some real estate areas. We're seeing a lot of, again, the consumer staples, uh, miscellaneous area there. We're seeing some challenges. Facebook had challenges today down over 1%, but uh, some of your big boys were up. Uh, and so again, it's a 56% to 40 some percent uh, decrease in the markets, uh, S&P 500 uh, on today. And so this will tell you what's going on across the globe. You can look at that and see it. All right, now something big happening this morning. We talked about crypto. The crypto market cap has gone up more. It's 2.48 trillion, up 4% increase over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin had just gone over 6,000 at my last recording. It's now at 6,000, six, I'm sorry, 6,000, 61,466.23 as we're recording. It is going live. Ethereum has gone over 3,800 and it is moving towards 3,900 as we're looking to see it get to 4,000. And as we look down through, uh, we can see others that are making moves uh, and holding steady. Some of them, uh, we can see some red and we can see some green, but things are going good. The reason why 
Bitcoin is. We talked about this this morning. I'll share this with you. The price of Bitcoin spiked above 59.5 early Friday as traders became more confident a futures exchange traded fund could finally be approved. The Securities and Exchange Commission is set to allow the first U.S. Bitcoin futures ETF to start trading next week. Bloomberg reported early Friday, citing people familiar with the matter. The regulator is unlikely to block products from beginning to trade, those people said. The proposals by ProShares and Invesco are based on futures contracts, differentiating them from those previously rejected, the report noted. This is very, very uh, important. It says it comes after the SEC's Investor Education Office posted a tweet on the matter late Thursday. Before investing in a fund that holds Bitcoin futures contracts, make sure you carefully weigh the potential risk and benefits. It said linking to a June bulletin on Bitcoin futures funds. So it looks like this thing is going to happen. That is an absolute positive move. And as you can see, the result is happening because when you can see futures, uh, an ETF coming in based upon uh, Bitcoin, it is very, very, very positive for Bitcoin holders uh, globally. And uh, it says something about the chances of Bitcoin surviving all of the regulations and all the challenges that are coming after it every single solitary day. Well, I want to uh, talk about some companies that I've been recommending to you that I just believe these are we're in a good place for them. The first one is Microsoft. We're up a dollar and 45 cents, almost half a point on today. And in the last month, it's finally hit the upside. It, it, everything had suffered so much uh, in September. As you can see, this chart was just down trending in September, but we've been going back up since October and we're finally back above where we were with Microsoft. And that is absolutely positive. Mercado Libre, this is the Amazon of Latin America. I'm telling you, this is a tremendous growth stock that has tremendous upside potential. We've seen a major drop off in this stock uh, over the last, uh, when, we, when we look at this stock where it was in September the 2nd at 1946, and then it came all the way down to 1459 on October the 10th. That's a huge drop off. We're starting to see a rise happen back in the last five days. It's down just 2%, but uh, we've been going up steady in the last three days. Uh, and so it's just positive. It's up $39 or 2.67% on the day. That's very solid. VOO is our foundation uh, ETF up $3.12 or 0.77. And you can see again, uh, we finally crossed back over where we were uh, for the month. We're back up for the month. We're up a little bit. This is positive action in the last five days. Uh, it's up again as well. So things are moving. Uh, we're coming out of some of the volatility that existed in the month of September and just crushed all stocks at that point. Alibaba, we told you great news Alibaba had early last week, and it's been on an increase ever since that time. For the month, it's up 6%. It's up a dollar and 20 cents today or 0.72% very very positive lastly is apple this is another foundation play in our portfolio it is up a dollar and one cent today up 12 cents in after hours trading very positive you'd be doing yourself a favor if you always keep foundation plays you know i want to say something to you that's very very important oftentimes people are running going crazy trying to find the next big thing now i've got mccarty libre uh in those five that i talked about today um and that's a, a riskier play because it's volatile at times especially over the last month it's been very volatile but uh, what i'm sharing with you this week have been things that are foundations for me in my portfolio you don't have to find the next hot thing uh to make big money in the stock market you need to plow in with those things that are moving consistently forward consistently making money consistently beating the uh, markets 
uh, year over year over year over year, and you will consistently do well. And that's what I'm here to help you do. And so I'm excited about it. This is the end of another investing week. Unless you're in crypto, it'll keep on going. But this is exciting to see what's happening. Now, again, inflation is buck wild. It is going to have an a impact. So we're not done with volatility. Don't think we're done with volatility because we've seen some good things happening this week. But do not believe we're done with volatility. We're still going to see some volatility play out until some things with inflation and interest rates and bonds and all these things uh, get fully understood and we fully get the impact of it in the markets. Well, I want you to have an absolutely great day. Tomorrow's my YouTube portfolio day where we'll be sharing the YouTube portfolio, how we're doing, how things went this past week. And I look forward to talking to you then. Until then, you have an absolutely great day. Be blessed.